Good morning. We're still there. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> so glad you're here for noonday prayers. <laughs> so glad you're here for noonday prayers. So, uh, hope you're having a good day. Uh, thinking lots about each of, each and every one of you. So we'll start, New Day Prayers will start in uh, three minutes. Good morning, Karen. Good morning. If you have any uh, prayer requests, uh, I'll put them uh, in your uh, comments. And also, if you like New Day Prayers, uh, uh, you can like us. So. So glad, so glad you're here with us. Welcome again to Noonday Prayers on this Friday morning, where we just have, what, two more minutes of Friday morning. Good morning, Patricia. Glad you're here. Good morning, Christy. Good morning, Vicki. So Noonday Prayer starts on page 103. Of the Book of Common Prayer. I don't want you to miss seeing my husband. <laughs> oh God, make speed to save us. Oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Psalm 119, your word is a lantern to my feet and a light upon my path. I have sworn and am determined to keep your righteous judgments. I am deeply troubled. Preserve my life, O Lord, according to your word. Accept, O Lord, the willing tribute of my lips and teach me your judgments. My life is always in my hand, yet I do not forget your law. The wicked have set a trap for me, but I have not strayed from your commandments. Your decrees are my inheritance forever. Truly, they are the joy of my heart. 
I have applied my heart to fulfill your statutes forever and to the end. Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, beginning, is now, now and will, will be forever. forever. Amen. The love of God has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. Thanks be to God. From the rising of the sun to its setting, my name shall be great among the nations, and in every place incense shall be offered to my name, and a pure offering, for my name shall be great among the nations, says the Lord of hosts. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. And thanks be to God for you for joining us uh, on this Friday, now Friday afternoon. The, uh, the feast day that we're celebrating today is uh, for Harriet uh, Tubman, which many of you probably know a, a great deal about. The, uh, let's try to get this. There we go. Okay. Uh, Harriet uh, was a social reformer. Uh, slave births are recorded under property, not as persons with names. But we know that Harriet Ross was born sometime during 1820 on a Maryland Chesapeake Bay plantation and was the sixth of 11 children born to Ben Ross and Harriet Green. Although her parents were loving and they enjoyed a cheerful family life inside their cabin, they, loved, they lived in fear of the, that the children might be sold off at any time. Harriet suffered beatings and a severe injury, but grew up strong and defiant, refusing to appear happy and smiling to her owners. To cope with the brutality and oppression, she turned to religion. Her favorite Bible story was about Moses who led the Israelites out of slavery. The American slaves prayed for a Moses of their own. When Harriet was 24, she escaped to Canada, but could not forget her parents and the other slaves she left behind. So working with Quakers, she made at least 19 trips back to Maryland between 1851 and 1861, freeing over 300 people by leading them into Canada. She was so successful that $40,000 was offered for her capture. Guided by God through omens, dreams, and warnings, she claimed her struggle against slavery had been commanded by God. She foresaw the Civil War in a vision, and when it began, she quickly joined the Union Army, serving as a cook and nurse caring for both Confederate and Union wounded soldiers. She also served as a spy and scout. She led 300 black troops on a raid which freed over 750 slaves, making her the first American woman to lead troops in the into a military action. In 1858 uh, to 9, Harriet moved to upstate New York where she opened her home to African and American orphans and the elderly. Although she was illiterate, she founded schools for African American children. She joined the fight for women's rights, working supporting African American women in their effort to, to uh, find their own organization to address equality, work, and education. And she died on March 10, 1913 in Auburn, New York. So today, we give thanks for uh, Harriet. Amazing woman, amazing. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Our Father, Father who Lord art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, send your Holy Spirit into our hearts to direct and rule us according to your will to comfort us in all our afflictions, to defend us from all error, and to lead us into all truth, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 
Um, so, again, we pray for our church, uh, for the leaders of our church. Uh, we pray for St. Mark's, the leaders and our congregation. We pray for those who are sick and in need, especially Rusty, Shirley, Evren, Mazella, Rosetta, and particularly all of our prayers are offered for the people of Ukraine and for peace in that country. We pray for our country and its leaders. We pray for those who have died. Lisa Fowler Foot, Arjun Singh, Jesse Bashirs, Floyd Ray, Amanda and James Turner, and Miranda Marin Lynn. And we give thanks for each of you who are joining us today uh, on this uh, noonday time uh, on Facebook. I'm looking at uh, the prayers that you've asked for. Carolyn is praying for peace. Frida is with us. Michael, uh, Michelle, sorry, Michelle Moss is also praying for peace. Vicki is praying for Ed, Sharon, Jean, and Dorothy. Vicki is also uh, praying and letting us know she's here. Christy. Wishes everyone a good day. Karen is particularly asking our prayers for the people of Ukraine and especially the children. And also Patricia is here and I'm so glad that, that she's here joining us. So we send uh, wishes for your safe weekend. I uh, want to remind you about uh, on Sunday night at St. Mark's there will be a um, music and prayer service for the people of Ukraine, which will be uh, quite uh, powerful for all of us who wanted so much to pray for the Ukraine and its people together in a community. Just looking for any other uh, prayer requests. Don't want to miss anything here. So, oh, Sam is here. Great. And uh, he's uh, hoping everyone is safe. So let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And thanks be to God for you. And thank you for joining us today for Noonday Prayers, just stopping in the middle of your day to say prayers in community. May God bless each and every one of you.